Hi, and welcome to Web API Development with Flask by Pact Publishing. My name is Gergő Bogdan. I develop software for more than eight years now. I work with a lot of technologies, but I really like dynamic programming languages like Python and JavaScript. I am a tech enthusiast and a blogger. I love writing and teaching. I like to contribute to open source projects like MDN. You can read my articles on grelution.com and follow me on Twitter. In this course, we are going to familiarize ourselves with Flask, a micro framework developed for the Python programming language. During the course, we will learn how to efficiently design and implement web APIs using the Flask framework. In the same time, we will cover general design guidelines, which can be used with any technology stack. First, we will start with Flask basics like routing, templates, and flash messages. Then we will continue with creating our models using SQL Alchemy. We will cover CRUD and REST basics, and we will implement create and read for our RESTful API. Next, we will implement update and delete. We will check what is hypermedia, and we will learn how to implement pagination in our web API. Then we will cover more advanced topics like HTTP caching, best practices for web API error handling, and we will review some design guidelines for building large projects with Flask. We continue with advanced topics like HTTPS, authentication of web APIs, usage of cookies, and we learn how to securely store passwords. The last section covers testing within Flask. We learn how to test CRUD operations, authentication, and custom Flask routes. To get the most out of the course, you should be familiar with Python programming language. You should know what the JSON data structure is, and on your system you should have a MySQL installation. Meanwhile, you should be able to understand HTML and CSS. The main goal of this course is to learn how to use Flask for efficiently developing web APIs. Besides this, my goal was to offer you as much general knowledge about RESTful web APIs as it is needed so you can design and apply best practices when implementing your own web API. After finishing the course, you should have the amount of knowledge to be able to decide if Flask is a good fit for your project or not. So let's begin this journey together, and I hope to see you there.